This is an author I really, really like um, that I've actually been reading from them, from him for years since like I was in high school. And I found this guy, Piers Anthony. And um, this is what got me into a lot of fiction, um, science fiction and fantasy books because he does science fiction fantasy, not one or the other, but both in the same story, which is really, really pretty cool. Uh, this is the Xanth series, and seriously, I really haven't been following the Xanth series. I pretty much, this is the first book of the Xanth series. Uh, Xanth is sort of a, it's a world where everyone has magic powers. The, the leader of the, um, the, the main character in the book uh, finds that they don't have magic powers and then they're like the only person with very limited magic powers that can hardly do any magic. So they're like beneath everybody because everyone's got these magic powers and they're like magicians and wizards and stuff like that. And, um, as you, and, and basically he starts on this journey where I guess he's going to learn magic and try to like you know, have an adventure and uh, try to like measure up to everybody else that's like way more powerful than he is. So um, this is called, this is pretty cool. It's a spell for chameleon. And this is the number one, the first book of the Xanth series. And Xanth has come out like at the time of this, of them writing this, this is how many Xanth books have come out so far by this author, by Piers Anthony. Um, and it is, this is really cool. He has a couple of stories like this, um, and there's a couple, and then as you can see in this book, the main other stories that I'd really recommend. Now Xanth is okay, he's really known for Xanth, and I th there's like 20 Xanth books right now. I mean, Xanth came out, I don't even know, like early 80s, like 70s or something, because he's been writing this stuff. Uh, and that, that's come out really a long time ago, and this book, I'm not even sure when this came out. Uh, the date on here is like not even any dates on here. So I really haven't gotten through Xanth, but it is something I really want to do because I heard it's supposed to be good and the other stuff is really good. His other books here, uh, you could see there is uh, something called The Apprentice Adept. You see that better and more focus, yeah. There's the Apprentice Adept, and then there's another one uh, called Incarnations of Immortality. Apprentice Adept is really interesting. It's also about a, uh, it's a guy who is in this futuristic science fiction world, and there's three books to that, and um, he's in the science fiction, science, you know, very, with robots and like, futuristic technology world and what and it's just it's got the story going on and basically he travels through this doorway or something into a parallel world which is instead of which is not ruled by science but is ruled by magic and he finds that he's not just this citizen of this kind of dystopian uh kind of world where you know, he's not really happy with, but he's one of the main um, kind of like rulers or influencers of this other world, which is done by magic. And that anything that he's basically like, if he says a poem or he does, he says like he sings a short song or whatever, whatever he sings or whatever he says actually, actually comes into you know, just actually happens. Like, like every, like little, little poems become spells and they make things happen in this magical world. He meets a unicorn, uh, the unicorn finds he's worthy of, of, of uh, riding the unicorn and befriends him. And um, really, really interesting book about someone who is not from a magical land, someone who's from a technological land, trying to adapt and finding that he has this whole world where he's an important person in this, um, in, in this other world. And there's another one called um, The Incarnations of Immortality by this guy. And Incarnations of Immortality is about these, basically like what Incarnations of Immortality are, are these uh, people, 
that have like a sort of like a, their job is like there's a person whose job is death and, and death is his job is to um you know just take people who who died and to see whether they go to heaven or hell another person's name is fate and they, they was just a regular person they become fate and they decide the fates of people and there's another one called time and they can go kind of back into the future and then in the past and try to change things that have gone wrong um there's the devil which is basically the incarnation of evil and all they all they do is try to like mess with everybody else and try to like mess them up and there's the angel incarnation who does good things and counters the devil incarnation and that's based and there's one called uh, the incarnation of war who stands upon battlefields and makes sure that the wars are are justly fought and um really interesting because it's like these regular normal people all of a sudden their job is fate to be fate or their job is to be death or war and they've got this whole job and, it, and it's a whole story that gets told um in in this whole thing so as you can see like so basically, um, you can see like how Piers Anthony takes stories of uh, fantasy, stories of science fiction, puts them all together and makes this human drama. It's always about some person and their journey and their like, their, and the thing is that their journey is weird and their journey is magical and their, and their journey is like an otherworldly kind of thing, but they're very human and the interactions are human and the people are human. And even like in incarnations of immortality, when they, when they have these, you know, offices that they keep, they're still very human and the dramas are human. And it's real interesting. It's like a human drama in a fantasy world or, or a science fiction world, you know? So yeah, so this is the, for, and this is a really cool illustration, you know, I, I think, and that's like the main character there. So yeah. And it's real interesting because what, when you look through these, uh, and, and the thing is like, these are the main books that he has written at uh, like, okay, here it is. Yes, there it is. It's copyright 1977. So this book was copyright 1977 and that's when the first story of this the first of these stories have come around i've had this book for a very long time but the thing is that i really haven't gotten into it and uh, you know i don't know why this is how much i've read of it like i've read like this much and i and this much and i didn't read this and yeah i don't know they're hard to get into but um, I like the other ones. I loved Incarnations of Immortality. I read all of those. Um, and he's a fantastic. I mean, he is actually one of the main, this is one of my favorite authors of contemporary fantasy and science fiction. Uh, he's just, he's up there with George R. R. Martin. He's up there with Michael Moorcock. He's up there with, with all of, he's really, really good. And the thing is that like, not a lot of people know who this author is for some reason. They, you know, and what's interesting about this, this whole story about Xanth and is, is when I was, you know, it's, what's interesting about it is that if you look at um, that, the story of, uh, um, the, the kid that becomes a magician, Harry Potter, right? He's a magician, he's got all this power, but he didn't know it, you, you know? And, and what's interesting about it is that this story is, is, this kid has no power, very little power, and he's on a quest to get more power, just so that he'll be like everyone's equal. And uh, in the other, in a different book, which is um, Split Infinity and The Apprentice Adept, which is the other book that he wrote in The Apprentice Adept. Um, he, the, he the, it was a, kind of a similar thing where the main character kind of lives in this technological future world. Um, doesn't say whether it's on like a, you know, whether it's like on, it, you know, what future, where he's from, you know, but it's somewhere, some future world. And, he finds out also that he is a 
wizard in this other world. And it's just so much like Harry Potter, but, it, but the main character is not a, a child, he's like a grown person, you know? Uh, so what's weird about that is, I think that Piers Anthony's story of uh, the, the Apprentice Adept uh, happened before Harry Potter. And I really do think there is a chance, I don't know for sure, but there is a chance that it inspired Harry Potter because it's very, very similar with a person growing up that does not have, know that he's got this power role and he's got this like, um, people look up to him and everything. It's just the same thing that happened in The Apprentice Adept where he went through these doorways in this other world and it's just run by magic. And he finds that he's one of the adepts that rule this world. He's the blue adept, you know, and the other adepts, like there's the red adept and the gold adept, the black adept, the, there's just all the white adept. I, I don't even know sure what, it just, all, each adept have a, has a color. And, um, and, and he's the blue adept, okay? So, and, and uh, it's, it's interesting that he didn't know that that's who he was and he had to find that out for himself when he went into this other world. When he, when he went and found this other world and he found out who he was and he has all this power that he didn't know about when he was living in this dystopian kind of like city where there were robots and, you know, it was just very technological, very like, you know, no one was really happy. There were, there were like these games that were these, uh, he participated in these Olympics and these like games and stuff like that. But I don't know if he was that happy of a person or the people were that, that happy and didn't know that he was actually this blue adept, this other person that, from this other world until he actually walked in the world and found himself. So, so yeah, so I don't know if you, if you guys have read anything by uh, Piers Anthony, let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you, if you read Xanth. If, let me know if you read Incarnations of Immortality if you've read um, Split Infinity or The Blue Adept or The Apprentice Adept. And uh, yeah, and what you think of these books, if you've read them, if you've never read them, check it out. It's Piers Anthony, he's a really good author. You know, check out, I'd recommend, out of all of the ones I've read, I recommend Incarnations of Immortality. Check it out, Every, everyone that's read it that I've recommended it to loved it. Uh, so check out Incarnations of Immortality and uh, yeah. And um, if you want to check out Xanth, that's supposed to be really good too, even though I just started reading it a little bit. Um, and uh, also, Apprentice Death is okay also, but I really did think that um, Incarnations of Immortality was actually really, really good, well-written, a long story. Everyone's liked it so far, so check it out. And let me know what you think, if you've read any Piers Anthony, uh, so I can know if you guys have read any of these. And yeah, so if you like my video, please like it and subscribe to it because there's more videos that I did and there's more videos coming up. And I totally, totally want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Comment because I really want to know what you guys are thinking. And uh, yeah, and so check out some of my other videos. You can like, kind of like, you know, click on videos and you can see like the whole list of videos I have. If there's anything else you want to watch, you know, check it out. And I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. And please, please let me know what you think of Piers Anthony and this kind of stuff.